everyone, I'm here today with a scrap lift of a page done by Celine Navarro for Studio Calico's May 2013 Planetarium Gallery. And I didn't use my kit for that month, I actually used the DIY Shop by Crate Paper. I pulled a couple of their papers from the stack. Here I am stamping this Studio Calico map stamp on this... Uh, let me see. It's a 6x6 six six paper by Studio Calico that was in the Here and There collection. Is that what it is? I know I just recently used, yeah, Here and There, 6x6 uh, six six stamp pad. Well, I'm sorry. 6x6 six six paper pad. And um, that was the only other paper I didn't use from the DIY shop. Here I am looking for my, in oh, I'm sorry, my vintage photo uh, distress ink. I can't remember the last time I've even used a distress ink, but I wanted to try something different. Her page was so artsy and so grungy looking, and I'm not a grungy person, <laughs> um, so I wanted to attempt to do something like that, and because I was too lazy to look up what the, act the page looked like in color, I figured this is kind of what she did. So. I cut them down into a little bit bigger than a quarter quarter inch in size. And I started off by cutting strips and then decided, you know what, I'm just going to cut one big chunk and then go from there. And then I did finally figure out what was wrong with my sewing machine. I just had to re-thread the bobbin. Something was wrong with it the first time around. So my sewing machine is doing a lot better and we're back on speaking terms. So I, I did forget to... Um, I forget to sew those two pattern pieces next to the photos, but that's okay. I was happy with how it turned out. And I went ahead and I pre-sewed the photos and I pre-sewed the background paper there. It says just, or it just says today continuously in the background. So I am just inking up the edges here. And then at some point the strip gets too small for me to actually cut it and keep it straight so I pulled out a little piece a uh, or a little scrap piece of washi tape from my sewing machine that's where I kind of keep all my little washi scraps there just so that I you know I can have it on hand for little things like this so there's the last piece which I don't actually end up using I wanted to see if I could get that same rip effect that she had in the photo and with scrapping late at night I just kind of eventually just called it quits so I had a scrap piece of white cardstock that I used to mount all these strips to so I could use it as one big block here and then I am just lining them up and then when, since the background paper was a plank wood grain type of paper it makes it look like smaller planks of wood. I don't know if that makes, makes sense. Um, so attaching these all here, and then I am going to trim off the excess white when I am all done putting those together. See, so yeah, I'm just kind of checking out to see if I can't do that, and I said, you know what, I'm too tired. So <laughs> I ended up just not using that strip. So I am going to sew them together, that way they're not all wibbly wobbly. And because the piece behind it is smaller than the the mounted pattern paper, I am not sewing through two uh, two layers of paper, as you can kind of see there. And I'm just pulling the thread through so that I don't see it on the other side. Here I am just fiddling with the title, and I realized that the tag that I pulled out, the Tim Holtz tag that I originally pulled out, were too dark and kind of blend it into the background. Here I have another scrap of white cardstock and I'm just mounting everything together into one big piece since I wasn't ready to glue everything down to the page. And here I am just working on the title and trying to figure out the tags for underneath the photo. I thought maybe I could stamp a couple of uh, journaling tags and then figured, you know, I have I have quite a lot of stickers, so I pulled out two sticker sheets, both by Crew. One is the Portrait Collection, and the other is the Toy Box Collection, both 
very old and have been in my stash for a while and I pulled out a couple of those tags and then thought maybe I could get away with using one of these shipping tags from Staples. This is another pattern piece of paper from the DIY shop and I went ahead and I fussy cut the number two there um, screen just because it had taken me a while when I was leaning into the, the frame so I had not just saved you guys the trouble. Here I'm just looking through my wood veneers seeing if I have an arrow to fit in that space. I have been meaning to get that powder tool I think it's by EK Success to make my 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 stickers not sticky and I haven't yet so I just use my sweater sleeve to kind of get rid of all that stickiness and it works for now. I'm able to, it's still sticky enough to where if I needed to just leave it that'd be great but it helps to let me move around my tags. And after deciding that, oh that one doesn't work, I go ahead and use this one. I wasn't sure when I would ever use something that says Sam's Toy Store <laughs> sticker. So I went ahead and I popped up the number two and mounted it on that sticker there. there has, there's, there's a trim of brown and a trim of red and I figured that the page could use a little bit more color than what was already on there since it's mostly like the darker colors like brown, black, gray, and um, pops a little red here and there. So I was looking for a scrap piece of paper to to stamp the ampersand and that is by Amy Tangerine and I believe it was a exclusive stamp for Studio Calico's Project Life Kit from a few months ago. I actually think I only used the ampersand once, but I had never cut it out, and it was a little time consuming, in those little pieces, because I wanted to, um, to punch those out. I'm just using my craft knife here, and then I pull out my basic gray precision, what is this called? Um, it's an older tool by basic gray, and it's a, uh, yeah, it's a precision file set. And I use that to kind of smooth out the edges because since the pieces were so tiny, it had taken me a while to um, actually uh, get out the little hard or hard harsh lines, I guess, in the middle there of the ampersand. So it's a little bit better. And those cork alphas are also by Studio Calico, or I'm sorry, not Studio Calico, but they could come in a Project Life Studio Calico kit. And I'm looking for another tag for that arrow there, and I decided on this one. It originally had a rose on it, and I stuck the rose underneath the sticker, and just used the uh, the plain area. I'm gonna go ahead and mount the photos and the block of wood planks there. I went ahead and I attached the ampersand there with just some glue dots, and put down my my fussy cut and number along with some wood veneers and I oh, what do I do next <laughs> I'm going down that transparent sign which was by basic right so life is a song oh life's a happy song is what it is looking for some alphas to make my title I didn't have any left over from my project life with enough letters there so I pulled out another basic gray alpha set. It's kind of like an, uh, I want to say it's more blue than it is gray. If anything, it's like a really dark gray to where it's almost black. So, and I tried to get the spacing just right so that I could, I could uh, put these cork letters underneath it to realize they weren't going to fit. So I use another basic gray alpha here and it's just a, it's a bigger size than what is already on the page. And I couldn't tell you whether that one is from the Pyrus collection, which is a another old basic gray collection. That paper clip there has a little fishtail um, little fabric thing attached to it, and that's also from a Project Life kit that was the last one that I had. 
The sticker I just put down was a Seven Gypsies date label. And these are some authentic um, phrase stickers or diction stickers. And it says memories together. It's an older uh, birthday collection that they had. And then these two people here holding hands that make the heart. It's also part of that exclusive Amy Tangerine stamp in that Project Life. Thought I could put it somewhere else and then decided against it. And then I went ahead and I pre-wrote Happy Mother's Day on the paper to see if I couldn't figure out a way to make it so that it was, it was centered. And it eventually says Happy Mother's Day to me <laughs> from when the pictures are taken.